Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let we discuss about the process topological modeling and classification of mammographic microclassification clusters. Let, let us see the abstract of the process topological modeling and classification of mammographic microclassification clusters. Identification of defects in micrographic image, mammographic images helps in the identification of the tumorous regions. Classifications in mammographs were identified based on morphological operations in the images. In the proposed system, classifications were identified based on graph-based identification of the classific classifications. The identified classifications were extracted from the input images. The overall performances of the process were measured based on accuracy, sensitivity and specificity of the classifier. The mammographic images with micro classifications were taken as the input. Based on the particular threshold, the micro classification regions were identified. The connectivity between the micro classification regions were estimated based on the different scales of dilation operation. The dilation operation is employed in three different scales for the input images. While applying dilation, each time the connectivity between the number of micro classifications were identified and they were denoted in the graphical format. The features were extracted from the uh, input graph uh, based on the parameters like number of subgraphs, average vertex degree, maximum vertex degree, eccentricity value, average vertex eccentricity, diameter, average clustering coefficient, chain connector component ratio, percentage of isolation points. The class classification of the features were done based on the fuzzy nearest neighbor, vaguely quantified nearest neighbor and fuzzy rough nearest neighbor and k nearest neighbor classifications. The performances of the process is measured were measured in terms of accuracy, sensitivity and specificity of the processes. The graph based model for the identification of the micro classification produces more accurate features and hence the performances of the processes were much improved. The extracted features is a combination of topological and shape based features from the images and hence the micro classification locations were identified exactly. Let us see the flow of the process. We take the input mammogram images as the input. So first we identify the micro classifications based on the morphological operations and the thresholding processes and after that the dilation steps is identified. In the dilation the process is repeated for three different scales. Uh, this is to identify the morphological graph for the input images. The graph regions were generated in terms of combining the nodes of the input images. Then after that the features were extracted from the input images based on number of subgraphs, average vertex degree, maximum vertex degree, eccentricity value, average vertex eccentricity, diameter, average clustering coefficient, chain connected component ratio, percentage of isolated points. These values were then classified using K nearest neighbor, Fuzzy nearest neighbor, FRNN, WQNN. So the performances of the processes were measured in terms of accuracy, specificity and sensitivity of the process. Thus the input mammogram images were classified into benign or malignant based on the morphological graph generation and feature extraction. Let me see the running procedure of the process. If you want to run the code, select the file main ogai which is present in the data source code folder. Right click it and click on run file. You will get the process executed. So at first select any one of the images which is present here. We can give any of them benign or malignant. So both of them contains some micro classifications in them. The after the selection of the input, the input images were displayed here and after that the 
classification process goes on. So the first step is the identification of the classifications in the input image. So the classification regions were in higher in intensities compared to the input images. So the regions were identified and the micro classifications in the input images were obtained. Then dilation process is obtained in three steps and after that the process of the graph identification and the combination of the nodes were identified. So that process is going on. Finally the classification is done using three different types of classifiers fuzzy nearest neighbor, vaguely quantified nearest neighbor and fuzzy recurrent nearest neighbors classification methodologies. So based on the obtained classification results, the performances of the processes were measured. So this is the overall process. The comparison charts and graphs were obtained. So this is the dilation steps obtained in three different scales. So this is the minimum scale and this is the second maximum scale and this is the third maximum scale. So the micro classification regions were uh, grown in the input image region. So this graph identifies the uh, micro classification regions in the input images. So as we can see this graph is obtained for the dilation of scale 1. So as we can see the most closest neighbors were only combined. Then after that, this is the uh, uh, dilation in the scale 8. The scale 8 represents the dilation process with the disk value 8. So as we can see in this, the regions were closely combined. And after that, this is in scale 32. So here all nodes and uh, graphs were connected. And uh, in all the regions, the edges were identified. So these are all the nodes and the edges of the each uh, regions that we have obtained in the dilation processes and the node positions were the nodes regions where that were all combined were identified so this is the test features obtained so here as we can see the number of subgraphs average vertex degree maximum vertex degree and maximum vertex electricity diameter average clustering coefficient chain connected component ratio percentage of edge connected points they were all obtained as the test features after that the classification is done based on the three classifiers so this is the classification results so as we can see the classification results were classified in the benign uh, classified the input images the benign step so we have selected the images from the benign state only so this is the performance measures that we have measured for uh, different classification methodologies and this is the performance value values that we have obtained and this is the presented graph. So this is the sensitivity, accuracy and the specificity of the classifiers, the values that we have obtained. Thus we have classified the input image into benign or malignant based on the features extracted from the mammograms which represents the graphical statistics of the input images. So th based on the extracted values, classification is done and the performances of the process is measured. Thank you.